Hey YouTube, Irish Air Gunner coming at you. Like I say my channel, I want to give some information back to the new guys starting. And this is a perfect video to do it. When I got into PCPs, everybody's like, you know, get into Marauders, get into the different weapons. And I said, what about the Discovery? And they're like, nah, that's a well, gun of the old times. But you know what? The Discovery was the premiere and the launch of... Uh, PCPs for Crossman. That's where it began for them. And that's where it began for me. I wanted to start from the ground up and work my way up instead of starting in the middle and wondering, eh, should I have gotten that? Shouldn't I have not? And I got this Benjamin Discovery, and I'll tell you what. The first one I got was in 177, then I got one in 22, then I got my second one in 22. And these Benjamin Discoveries are really jam up for the money, and they are a great entry gun. If anybody asks me, what, what should I get? What should I get? I tell them a discovery. Why I tell people the discovery is it simple. The discovery is $259 without the uh, air pump and it's $389 with the air pump. I uh, buy them out of a company in Colorado called RNL uh, Supply. Randy and Lori. You know, they're the owners. They're very, they're very nice. They're very knowledgeable. If you call out there and have any questions, Randy can ask, answer all your technical questions and give you all the information you want on these weapons. The thing about the Discovery is the Discovery is, is small. It's lightweight. If you're a junior shooter or if you're buying this for a woman, it's an ideal rifle because with a scope, it's under 7 pounds. Uh, the bear, you still have the standard like 19-inch barrel on it. But the thing about it is, which we'll get into, you don't have a lot of the bells and whistles with the Discovery. It's a basic gun. With getting a basic gun, that basically means that you don't have a shrouded barrel. So the Discovery is very loud. Uh, there's some aftermarket products from TKO, muzzle brakes, that you can put on the end and quiet it down. And they work. They highly work. I have a 5.5 inch muzzle brake on my 22, And it sounds a little bit louder than a Marauder. You really couldn't tell the difference from distance. But anyways, the Discovery is a nice weapon because it fires on both CO2 and compressed air. As you can see, the Discovery comes with a really nice hardwood finish stock. It's not top quality, something you would get from Air Arms or Daystate or something like that. But it's a basic stock. It's finished very nicely and it's very comfortable with smooth lines, no rough edges. And it looks like it's a clear coated. They don't tell you what kind of wood, they just say hardwood. It's either a poplar or a beech. But it's very smooth, very nice, with an ambidextrous stock on the back. So you can shoot it left-handed or right-handed. Moving up as you get into the gun is your standard bolt. It's a single shot, no magazine fed. And on the back of this, it comes with open sights. As you can see, it comes with target sights. It comes with actually trinium front night sights. Uh, so when you buy a scope, you're going to have to go with the H4 high scope mounts. That way you can clear. This is a uh, center point 4 by 16 by 40. So it's about 40 scope and you're barely clearing the front sights. If you go with a 50, you, you might have to remove the front sights. So that's why you have to go with the optional high sights. And if you start in the back, you see a hole. This is a degasser. This is a degasser tool that is extra. If you're going to shoot CO2 and air, you have to drain the air or CO2 out each time. You cannot combine the both. So what happens with this is you put this in here, you screw it in, you take an Allen wrench, once you screw it down and get it tight, you need an Allen wrench, all the air or CO2 will go out the barrel, then you can fill the gun. When you're done, you just take it off. It comes with 11 millimeter dovetail scope mounts and the other thing safety standard safety the only thing they did with the trigger is the trigger is plastic it's off of the old crossman uh, I forget the model 1100 it's a plastic trigger the trigger is not very smooth if you ever want to do any upgrades the trigger is an option but it does work for standard target and for what you want to do with it starting out why the Discovery is a good package is because of the price, the $259. With the scopes, starting out, you don't have to go out and put a $400 hawk on it. 
you can start off with, like I did, with a 3x9 center point. They sell them at Walmart with the 11 millimeter dovetails for $40, $45. Then you can get the 4x16 by 40 AO. You can get that for like $70, but the only thing is they don't come with the uh, they come with Picatinny mounts. They do not come with 11 millimeters, so you're going to have to order that. So the best thing to do is if you order this gun, order the 11 millimeter high mounts. It's only $10, and you get free shipping when you buy a gun. So you might as well just buy the high mounts and call it even. That way you have them. As you move down the barrel of Discovery, it comes with one barrel band which is here. A lot of people like to add the second barrel band. I did on my TKO because when you add the barrel band it just makes different weight. But the barrel system of any air rifle is supposed to be a floating system. It's not supposed to be tied down. It has a lot to do. Some people say it increases your accuracy. Some people say it doesn't. But you know that's, that's why it comes from the factory. I do not mess with it. If you go with any kind of muzzle breaker, if you go with any kind of TKO system, you're going to have to take off the front ramp sights, which is, is pretty easy. We'll do another video on that. But to fill your PCP, your Benjamin, it's real simple. It's like any other air gun. You simply remove the cap. This is not a screw cap. This is just a pop-off cap. You just push it on and push it off. And it's got your standard quarter-inch Foster fitting on the front. Filling your Discovery is really simple. You can use like a standard scuba tank. And one thing about the Discovery is the Discovery is a fuel pressure of 2,000 PSI. Unlike your Marauders, your Air Arms, and all the different makes that go to 2,900 or 3,000, the Discovery shoots at 2,000. So you can get a scuba tank brand new for $159 from various places. And you can use a scuba tank to fill this. Unlike a Marauder that fills at 2900, when you f use a 3000 PSI scuba tank you're going to get two or three fills. Whereas in the Discovery, I did the math, you get about 170 fills from 1000 to 2000 off of a scuba tank. So that is very economical. So that's another option you have to shoot a Discovery. You can use the pump, which doesn't take long to fill the gun. Or you could use a scuba tank, or you can just go out and get a carbon fiber tank 4500 PSI. If you look at my previous videos, I've done videos on showing you how to do that relatively cheap. But the fill discovery is no different than any other gun. You take your cap off of the foster fitting, connect your hose to whatever your fill source is, whether it be your scuba tank, whether it be your pump, or whatever. Listen for the click. Fill it up. When you fill it up, you watch the gauge underneath when you get to 2000. You bleed it off and you disconnect it and you replace your cap. Same thing as a regular PCP, nothing special. Underneath the stock in front of the trigger is the air gauge. That's where they put them on the Marauders, it's where air arms and most of your air gun manufacturers place them. Uh, as you can see on the gauge, there's two settings, one for air and one for CO2. Like we talked about, this is a dual fuel gu gun. That means that it can shoot CO2 or air. Remember, you cannot mix the two. You have to completely bleed all the air or CO2 out of the system before you change it to the, uh, to the other. As you can see on the top, it says air, and the bottom says CO2. The top shows that the red arc is roughly at 800. The caution is up to 1,000. The green arc is 1,000 to 2,000 PSI. That means that's your optimal pressure. Uh, it goes up to like 2,100 is your caution, and the red is... is overfilled. So you're looking to operate between 1 and 2,000 PSI for this gun. I've shot it down at 800, noticed um, a little bit of drop, but the optimal pressure in this gun is roughly around 1,800 to 1,000 PSI. When you get up to 2,000, it's, the accuracy is there, but it's a little, a little sporadic. CO2, on the other hand, instead of with the air, we fill it to 2,000. CO2, you only fill it to 1,000 PSI. And it looks like that you operate between 1,000 and 600 PSI on the CO2. So that's the only difference. But like I said, I don't shoot CO2. I shoot air. And it explains the whole system in the owner man owner's manual if you elect to purchase one. 
Since it is a single shot and does not come with a magazine, it means you have to feed the pellet every time. So when you're doing field or environment work, it's hard carrying pellets in your pocket. So here's how I made my own pellet holder. I took a piece, it went to Lowe's, and I got a piece of, of pipe insulation, cut it down to width, took a small drill bit and undersized the holes, and just taped it as you can see. I put some tape on the bottom, taped it together, cut it to length, and I put my pellets in the top there, and that's how I do it when I go on the field. I just pull one out and feed it in. Works pretty good, it's cheap, and it's very efficient. Overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, what I'd give it, I'd give it about a 9.5, because it serves its purpose. Uh, the pros, it's very inexpensive. Two, it's very efficient. Three, there's no bells and whistles. It's your standard basic gun uh, out of the box. It's relatively easy to fill and shoot. No adjustments, no power adjustments, no modifications needed. Uh, the, the 11 millimeter dovetail ramp is perfect. You can mount a scope to it. Uh, the fill cap fits fine. Pellets load easy. It shoots great. Uh, over and very, very accurate. The cons, the trigger. The trigger's pretty bad on it. You have to get used to it. It's not like if you go from a Marauder to an Air Arms or to a Day State, you just have to adjust for the different trigger weight pool. This gun is completely different. There's a, a two stage, but it's really long. And it's, n it's nothing that's unmanageable. You can modify it yourself uh, through kits or you can do things. So overall, this gun's a 9.5. If they would have did the trigger a little better, you put the Marauder trigger on it, or give you the option to get the Marauder trigger on it, the gun would be a 10 out of 10. At 6 pounds uh, on, the, on the weight, it's very easy to shoulder, it's very light, very easy to carry. In 177 on a 2000 PSI fuel, you'll get roughly 35 shots. On the 22, you'll get 25 shots. That's not bad. I mean, there are better guns out there that put that higher shot fill, but you got to remember you're only operating off of a 2000 PSI system. So if you load the 3000 guns to 2000, you get about the same. The air reservoir, the air tubes underneath the uh, gun, it's only 173 cc's. I know like in your day states, on, on your hunters, classics, they're like 100, 231 cc's. The Marauders are around 248 cc's. So you're, you're losing about with a smaller gun, you're losing about a quarter of your air supply compared to. And like I said, again, you're shooting at 2,000 PSI. We're going to wrap up the introduction to the Benjamin Discovery here. Uh, like I said, if you're a new shooter, you're young, you're living on a budget, and your guy's living paycheck by paycheck, and you don't have that money to sink out for that six, seven, eight hundred dollar gun, uh, or if you're not sure if this is your thing, there you go. Benjamin Discovery, $259. Great entry gun, that way you can see if you like it, if you don't like it, you not really have a lot into your investment. If you're small, young, or a female who's very small, this is a perfect gun for you. So, we're going to move on to some scope cam, uh, and we're going to move on to some grouping. The shots in the grouping were from various uh, days due to the weather, and also with the discovery being louder, I can't shoot in my neighborhood when during peak hours because it's very loud so that's why we had to shoot different times because the without the muzzle brake the discovery sounds like a 22 sounds like a 22 with shorts so you have to kind of be careful but anyways thanks for watching please rate please comment and please subscribe if you like my videos thank you have a good day YouTube